Welcome to another episode of Coach Hayes Football. Have you had trouble defending the inside zone this season? If so, I may have a couple of things that can help you out. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, guys. Again, today we're going to talk about how to defend the inside zone. We're going to jump straight onto the board, and we're also going to get into some video clips. All right, so we're talking about how to defend the inside zone. So our run concept is inside zone, all right? How we do that is we make sure we do a pre-snap read, and our pre-snap read is deep. That means that the back is deeper than the quarterback, and we'll talk about that in a second. Our alert to our defense is Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Okay, and that stands for inside zone. And I talked about this previously in getting great pre-snap reads uh, in a previous episode. So if you want to check that out, please feel free. All right. The mesh. The mesh is the exchange, again, between the quarterback and the backfield. That can be the running back. It may be a jet motion receiver, whatever that is. But the mesh is between the quarterback and the backfield. Okay. So if we see square shoulders, meaning that his shoulders are parallel to the line of scrimmage. They are square to the line of scrimmage. We're thinking inside zone. Play characteristic of inside zone is automatic cutback. All right? So if you look at most inside zone plays, they do cut back. And how we defeat that, our defeat technique, is rock back. Is rock back. All right? Let's take it to the whiteboard. Okay. So now we're here at the whiteboard. I kind of pre-drew some of the blocking assignments already and everything so that we don't have to kind of waste time on that. So when we look at inside zone, we already talked about the very first thing we're looking for is deep. All right. So we talked about deep. So I want to look right here and we're talking about deep. Look at that linebacker. I mean, the running back back here, how deep he is. All right. He's deeper than the quarterback. So therefore, he's indicating that he's going to run inside zone. Does that mean he has to do it again? No, he doesn't. I always say this. We're playing Vegas rules. We're playing the odds. OK. And when you play the odds, the house always wins. All right. So again, he's in a deep set. Let's look here now. How is the blocking scheme when it comes to the inside zone, right? So they want to run this ball. And again, I'm talking from a defensive perspective here. So they want to run this ball to our left-hand side, all right? What they're going to do here on the left-hand side is double-team right at point of attack. So they're going to double-team here with the nose, to the nose. The guard and center are going to double-team the nose, and they can work their way up to this mic backer, all right? Play side tackle is going to uh, base block here. I will rush in. On the back side, we're going to get a double team here on our three technique, okay? And we're going to also get this uh, tackle to come over and double team so they can scoop and work their way here to the wheel, all right? Now, you notice that we put our three technique to the side of the back, and we do that for a particular reason, all right? We do that because what we really want to do is funnel that guy into a hole in which we already know he's got to go into, all right? We know they want to run it front side, a gap, so we're going to put a guy in that front side A-gap already. So it's kind of going to force him to cut that ball back. All right? All right. So when this back, he gets this ball. We talked about square shoulders, right? When he gets this ball, his shoulders are going to be square to the line of scrimmage. Why is shoulder square? Because now it gives him an outlet. Now he can either, whether you've heard this terminology before, bang, bend, or bounce the ball. So if he stays front side, right, that's considered banging it. But there's a guy sitting in this hole. So what is he forced to do? He, we're trying to force him to bend this ball back. All right? And that's where we get our defeat technique called cutback. All right? So what he's trying to do is go there, bang that ball front side A gap. He can't bang it front side A gap because we have a person occupying that gap. All right? So we're trying to funnel him back to where we really want him to be, which is the backside um a gap. All right. Now we're going to talk about how we're going to defeat this and what we call rock back. Follow me. Stay with me for a minute. And I know it's going to sound maybe a little bit different, but just stay with me. OK. Here, let's talk about our let's talk about our big end for a second. Let's talk about him. He's not blocked. All right. And typically what you see with this guy is he is the read for the offensive for the quarterback for the zone read play. We're taking that away. We don't want to make it indecisive for that kid. I'm telling him right now, go down the line of scrimmage, put your hat on the hip of that running back, and try and knock the mess out of him. See if you can beat him to this A-gap hole 
right here. We want to have a huge impact. We want to make sure we hammer him right there. Then you can see it coming because he's an unblocked player. All right. When we do that, here comes the rock back technique. When we do this, when we see this look by the running back and we see the square shoulders, we're automatically going to rock back. All our backers are going to rock back. And we're going to rock back towards the running back. That's the word, rock back. All right? So all of our run first defenders are going to rock back to the ball. They see this? And we're going to fold right back inside. So if you notice, every gap is, is taken care of. We have our rush in. He's going to hold the edge here. We have our sound backers going to fold inside here to this B gap. Our nose is taking care, of, taking care of A gap. Our mic has rocked back into the backside A gap. Our three technique has done what? Taking away the B gap. Our big end, we're trying to actually gap exchange this and get the backside of this A gap. So we're trying to tackle this on the backside because he's an unblocked player. So why just have him in what we call no man's land? No man's land is where you ever seen that end that sits and he goes down the line, goes down the line, and now he's kind of stuck between, do I get the running back? Do I get the quarterback? Do I get the running back? Do I get the quarterback? Well, we want to take all the guests in the way, and I'm telling you right now, we're going down the line because that offensive tackle blocked down. We're going to go down the line, and we try to put our helmet right on the hip of that offensive, of the running back. Excuse me. The wheel, super important right here. He's going to rock back and now take care of the C gap. This is very important. So if you notice, all our gaps are taken care of, and we're also playing into the characteristics of the play. All right? Now, you guys will say, well, the zone read, right? The quarterback keeps the ball, and he keeps it. That's fine. We want him to keep it because we are knifing down. If he keeps that ball, who's in charge of that? The wheel linebacker. The wheel linebacker is in charge of making sure that the quarterback, uh, that he has the quarterback. All right? Let's take it now. We're going to go to a little bit of film, and we're going to kind of walk through that so you can actually see it in action. All right. So now we're back here on the film. Let's look at it. He's in a deep alignment. Okay? So right now, he's in a deep alignment. So now we're saying right now, Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. That's telling our defense right now we're anticipating inside zone. Okay? I talked about this guy right here. This would be considered our big end. This is the guy we're anticipating to be unblocked. So he knows when he's here, Izzy, 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 and he's to the side of the back. He knows his first step is he's coming down the line, and he's trying to ear hole the running back right here through this backside A-gap. That's all he's doing, straight speed rushing right down the line of scrimmage, okay? We talked about this. This back is going to do what? Rock back. He's going to now take care of our C-gap. This back is going to do what? Rock back. He's going to take care of backside A-gap. You see it right here, okay? So let me go through. Let's, let's press play, and let's see what we can come up with here. All right, so first thing we notice he crow hops into it. Look at the running back shoulders. They are square. His shoulders are square and, and parallel to the line of scrimmage. All right, so we talk about this guy here. Look at him. He's in no man's land. He can't help make a tackle on this running back. He can't, he's not in position to tackle the quarterback if he was to keep the ball. All right. That's why we want to take away the indecisiveness and make sure he goes directly and he can actually ear hold this running back if he needed to. Okay. Now, let's talk about the rock back here of the linebacker. Let's talk about the rock back here of the linebacker. If he rocks back, he beats number 79 because number 79 is anticipating that he's going to meet him in this hole. He's not. He's going to take his step and he's going to rock back. Therefore, that puts big boy, again, a big body in a lot of space to try and cover a faster defender. So we're going to rock back here to take care of what? Take care of what? The rock back technique, the cut back technique of the running back. Okay. Also, we want to look here. We're getting a double team like we showed on the diagram before. So he should be rocking back here. And it goes for a big play. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. We're just going to kind of run through this a little bit. Not going to spend a lot of time. Uh, with a lot of diagrams, you know what the mannerisms are, you know what the characteristics of the play are. 
Think about it. Look at the film right now. See if you can decipher what should happen. That square shoulders. He takes it and he takes it front side. Not a big deal. This is a 30 front, but the technique should still be the same. Okay? The technique should still be the same. All right? We get our rock back player. Where is he? He's lined up. He's deep. All right, so we should be rocking which way? We should now be rocking to our right, which will be the defense's right. We should be rocking to the right. So all players should be rocking this way, okay? And then taking away the open gaps, and therefore all gaps are covered. This guy should be folding right inside of here. What do we get? Check it out. We get square shoulders by the running back. Remember I told you, look at 44, the linebacker. If he rocked back in that hole, he makes that play. But he doesn't. The running back actually banged that play. Means he took it right to where he wanted, right on front side A gap. So he took it right to where he wanted, front side A gap. Okay? Let's look at the defensive end here. Again, no man's land. He's not helping anything. He's not creating pressure on 21, and he's not in position really to stop the running, the quarterback. If he goes down the line right now, he could actually ear hold number 21 going into that gap. So imagine if you have 44 that fold inside, and you had the defensive end coming down right now, he's in a pinch. We vice that kid right now. And if the quarterback was to keep it, we have this linebacker here rocking back towards the, the running back. All right, let's go to a field view. You can look at this again. What do we want to do? We want to rock back. The back is over here. He's to the left. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure all our players do what? Here and rock back. We're anticipating this defensive end should not be blocked. He should be running down the line, trying to ear hole him as he comes through. Okay? Again, defensive end is not being blocked. He should ear hold him. There he is in no man's land when we talk about them keeping the ball. Right? Defensive end, no man's land. Now, I want to pause this for a second because I do want to show you something. If these linebackers would have used a rock back technique, he would have fold right in that hole. He would have fold right in this hole. Okay? Therefore, he folds to come get this to get the quarterback. He would have fall right back in this hole in case the running back would have kept it. And because he does stay front side, this other linebacker now falls into this hole. All right, guys, thank you again for stopping by Coach Hayes Football. If you saw anything that you want to talk about, anything you'd like to discuss, please leave in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're always up to date on our latest episodes. And again, see you on the 50-yard line.